he does. Especially after just running through one, you say a little bit of a shaky start, but afterwards just like, nah, this is mine. Yeah. All right, well, game one. PS2. Yeah, PS2. Cut. Quite the stable here in Ultimate. Uh, as, yeah. as a couple of, as a uh, was the good old Smashville and Ultimate seems like people are kind of leaning towards Pokemon Stadium as one of the Um, thank God, in my opinion, <laughs> like, no, nothing wrong. You know, just yeah, we see that now. Yeah, but in like a few months, we're gonna be like, come on, pick a different stage. In my opinion, just real quick before getting into this match, I say pick a different battlefield. So much good music, man. So much good music. Well, let's go into it. Elegant loser side of Grand Finals, Razo on the winner's there and starts off with a nice grab and gets 18% from punishing Elegant for trying to go for that grab himself. Okay, so let's see what, what dashes Elegant will make this time around. Because last time Razo was just kind of giving him up trying to stop him from covering the side B and also calling out his fireballs with the toe down. Yeah. So right now, relatively 80%. Razo will take Elegant off stage. We'll grab the turn up back. Ooh, good, good drift. We'll avoid the throw. Turn to move down. Oh, gets the grab. Nice. Oh, and almost. Oh, it's oh, the last oh, hit of Cyclone. Calls out the air dodge. Don't know if that was intentional, but still good job to Elegant. Oh, oh he, he went. He went deep for yeah, that forehead. Like, I'm trying to end this. I don't want Elegant to have this stock lead, especially with Rage. I think if he grabs it, Razo might be dead. Yeah. Not anymore, Elegant's gonna pick up the ass. Good spacing, it's the, it's the roll just to get dodge the dash attack. Okay, catches the turn of with up, good spacing, yeah, good knowledge by Elegant for how fast the turn was. Yeah, he's like, okay, I'm gonna get one of these turns while every catch now. Just throwing an air. Ooh, that was actually really cool. I like that one. Oh, he oh, almost that got that forward air. Okay, so Razo did the full cancel. Uh, oh, this is oh. big for Elegant, and that'll take oh. another one, man. We, we talked about it. Elegant has a lot of momentum coming out this next game in Grand we Finals. Elegant, calm down, my guy. No, man. This, this, was, man, this man will never learn to calm down. Dash tag really not do happy it. about that loss. No, he finals. wasn't. Razo, though, he's not happy how his first game is going between him and Elegant right now. Yeah, he had a Oh, this is hand. big. Okay, I was yeah. going to say, like, I, I felt the Elegant might have tried to reset himself on the platform and possibly go for the Cyclone there. Yeah, he had a solid handle. Oh, and yeah. that'll do it. All those stocks gone from Two Cyclone. Two minutes, Elegant takes game one. Yeah. yeah this is... We're talking about how loser's winner side Elegant's going. I forgot to mention, loser's side Elegant. When he has momentum, yeah. it's one of the most terrifying things in this world. He no is kidding. not happy. He's like, this is no, no more. He knows, it's go, he knows it's go time, man. Yeah, he's like... He knows, he knows what he has to do to get back up there. And you can tell Elegant wasn't happy about their encounter in Winterside and how it went down, but Razo's not happy how their encounter went down the first game in Losers because Elegant starts off with dominant three stocks, all of them from Cyclone. That lets Razo know, I need to start adapting to that. And one of them was the fact that he went for an early air dodge when I felt he could have drifted away from that. So I like the battlefield pick because he did die to cycle off the top really early at yeah. the So he's picking battlefield, he's like, yeah, uh, no, no more. I'm not, I pick a stage, less likely to die to the cycle. So. Exactly. Oh man, it's a parasol hit. Elegant down throw. Oh, okay, tries to read the DI there with the back air. See, what's cool is that all these new combos that Elegant is like showing off right now, they will work at Genesis. Yeah. Because the only thing that was changed to Luigi, as far as I'm concerned, was the meteor effect on grounded opponents. Right now. Okay, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure how that affects the the previous patch. It doesn't really do much besides the fact that he can't really double down here. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he has these other like combos in his repertoire helps yeah. so much. We'll see. We'll see what combos can Elegant pull out. Because I'm not sure how that worked with last patch and this patch. Like I'm. I'm dead not sure. Like I, I know that there's some some things that you can probably still do that last patch that wasn't tried out. Yeah, so you didn't really need to try those things out when you had that one solid combo. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Razzle can try out here because he finally gets that up air. Both players pretty much high percent of Razzle get possible edge guard here. The situation could probably look look and turn things into his favor. Ooh, down throw, another cyclone there, and Razzle this time Razzle jumped into it. Yeah, he, he did. He jumped into it. He should have stayed at that platform. Should have looked to get away from that one. Oh, Razzle with the fire equalizer. Back, that back here. Oh, Stitch Face in his hands could be big for Razzle. Oh, oh my god. 2%, but that's still not too much versus Elegant, who's one of the combo kings with Luigi. Yeah. We've seen him come back. We've seen him come back from Freestock Deathly. Oh my god. Hit that. the four on that. He club. doesn't have the double jump. He, does he doesn't, he doesn't, jump. yeah. He got two frames. 
He literally got the. F he literally like shot that shot, and it went a mile. Dude, he got a home run. Yeah, he did. That was a golf club. That was, that was not a home run. Why? That's, that's that's baseball. Well, hold up. <laughs> I was going to say, like, my man probably hit four. He hit four, dude. He hit four, yeah, he got the ace in the hole. Yeah, get, got the ace in the hole, man. Daisy looking one. like here like Tiger Woods. Good old hole in one. Yeah. Tiger Woods with the club. Serena Williams with the, with the tennis racket, man. She's everything. All right, gets it down there, though. Razo, so far, momentum's finally swinging to his favor. Rolls right there at the platform. Kind of questioned there because Ellen could probably look, look, look for the back end. We kind of saw him pull it out there. Okay, so trying to call it maybe some aggressive options for Razo with that cyclone, but nothing so far, and we'll not get with him. The grab on stage is a little bit weird. Okay. Oh, good tech. See, one thing I want Fine. to see Elegant implement is some more Zeris, because, like, it's not the best in the world, but it's still, like, a good spacing tool. It's, uh, a good, it's a good tool to also do when your opponent's below you, because the actual plunger will actually still hit yeah. you. And, like, oh, one. good down it in there. Yeah. He's able to get him with two yeah. stocks. Razo strikes back the same way Elegant started off in game one. Yeah, I want to see the, the Zeris because one of Luigi's biggest flaws is that he gets spaced out really hard, walled yeah. out. Fireball's a good option, but against, as Razo's shown, he has a toad which can counter it. Yeah, so exactly. Like, and some Zeris. That's what he did the first encounter in Winterside. Yeah, Zeris are a little bit faster, a little more unexpected. So I, and, like, they get. They, kill, they travel a little bit further. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I feel like there would be a good option to kind of catch, like, Razzle off guard, when, especially just running around the flow cancels. All right, well, game three. Pretty crucial here. Game for both players there. One will move up to game point. See what things can do for Elegant, but Razo so far looking like he made some final adaptions here last game. Battlefield, this kind of a decider. A smash bill. Oh, oh okay. Elegant. Able to spot dodge, but Elegant's still relentless. Razo strikes back with a nice down tilt combo immediately. That Peach was known to do some pretty good damage in the last game, but this game she has even more combos, especially down to like not very exact guys. Yeah. Okay, nice. Gets a good forward air there. Reading out the elegant was going to go for an aggressive option. It's a Z drop. I like that Razo goes for the Z drop setups to just try to get elegant and make him feel like he's safe to come back on the stage. Pretty even game. Ooh, oh, that cyclone not going to kill. Still does damage. Okay. Keeps Razo up in the air for a second. Elegant was looking for that upbeat, upbeat like punish, but we're coming out to the edge guard here for Razo. Gets the downer. Doesn't get the right. Oh, he almost got that. Calls out the aggressive. Cyclone, that'll take the stock. No, oh. uh, Raza with better DI here. Of course, the change to Smashville oh. definitely helped out, but unfortunately there, got hit by the up smash. Calls out the side, he just gives him the noggin. I guess uh, I like the depth of like, last game, he just kept side being into these terms. In this set, he's kind of, instead of just getting hit, he's throwing out a moves to kind of shoot a big turn up. And it doesn't really stop a bunch of either, so. It's pretty worth it for the Oh, he, okay. I, don't, I like the fact that he went for the parasol a little bit earlier there and drifted back to avoid any punish from Milligan. Razo desperately looking for that stock. 141 there. Good. Good empty hop there because that he mixed it up. That's kind of one of the things you don't really see from Razo so far. He isn't really going for these empty hop options. Razo firing back 61% doubling. Oh, could this be it? No. Milligan still saying he's jumped. Alright, so gets the cross-up jab. Nice grab, down throw to the back air. Razo's opportunity here, yet again at the ledge, trying to snipe him out with the yes. turn up, and even with the... Elegant's so waiting now for the turn stash to go out. Yeah. Throw a hitbox he, to it. He, he upbeat immediately the way when he throws the turn up downward. Yeah, it's like, I gotta get these hitboxes out so I don't get the turn stash. Okay. okay. Down throw back air, not gonna connect. Elegant trying to seal off the stock, but Razo's just like, nah. Good there's, punish. There's the but he's he's starting to remember how their first encounter went in winter side, right? When he saw the fireballs, it's the punish immediately with the toad. And that was dangerous because Razo actually had the feature right there. Yeah. Back air holes send him so far off. Elegant with the edge guard face here. Razo has to take his time back on the stage. I like that he went for this beach, the beach the Daisy Bomb in there because he was able to space himself back with a little bit of a drift to avoid any possible punish. And turns things around with the downer. Razo feeling himself a little too hard there trying to go for another Daisy Bomber. Yeah, he's actually for how good, good pressure good, there. For all the results that Daisy Peach Bump and Daisy Peach Bump have been giving him, he's actually been punished equally as much for doing this. Yeah. Cyclone, that's not going to kill. Too low. Yeah, it's way too low. 
I like it. Razor using the float a little bit. He just stomps up back on the stage. Oh, he almost he almost got the spot dodge. He almost got the spot dodge there, but that back throw won't take it. Elegant still. Edgar face. Russell takes his time back onto the stage. Though good option. They use the float a little bit off. Oh. Gets clipped by the by the bottom hand of Cyclone. Since no one ever expects that Luigi did on Smash Four and he did an old thing. People still get hit by it. They just they don't see that ever coming. It's like what the heck? Oh, okay. That was so so close. I thought Elegant lost the jump there. Razo has to keep himself calm here. Elegant's playing oh, super aggressive right. at the bottom of the stage team? now. See, this is bad. Now Elegant has some momentum. Yeah, he Razzle does. Kind of and he has Razo off the stage. Razo has to be careful how he lands. Okay. Sends out a couple turnips. I like that he f comes down with a neutral air there because he was looking to have Elegant let go of his shield, but unfortunately he wasn't going to let it go there. Daisy Bomber, oh. there's the drift that we see him going for because he knows he won't be able to punish if he drifts back just a little bit there. Grab, goes for the Cyclonian again, and Razo with a silent spot dodge. Oh. It's the club, but that's not an ace in the that's hole there. Misfire. This game is so crucial, and Elegant finally making the comeback here. Razo get, doesn't get the counter punish, but that Cyclone, will that do it? Yes, yeah. and Elegant gets game three. All right, so up 2-1. Showing that winner's final was a fluke. Yeah, 2-1, 2-1 on, on Elegant's side. Yeah, he wants to prove a yeah. I can do this. Nah, man. I, I'll give Razo always no, deserves the credit. Razo man. definitely pulled out. I'm saying Elgin yeah. wants to make it seem like it was a flu. It was really, I, I can win this. I got this. Yeah. Win his finals isn't repeating itself. Yeah. Full hands for I hope, I hope, I hope Razo's still well. in. I honestly do hope Razo's still in the game, man, because he did a lot of things right. He was getting good edge guards. He was definitely looking to uh, make the adaptations that he had in the winners in the original first encounter that he. Uh, did to win over Elegant. He's definitely, he's definitely, man, shouldn't give up. Honestly, he's doing a lot of good things. He's coming back to what helped him get the, the Grand Finals victory. He definitely adapted from Game 1. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Hands down. Sorry, let me rephrase that. He definitely adapted to how he played when they were in Winners Finals, not Grand Finals. I apologize for that one. So, Elegant up 2-1. Yeah, one set game, point for Elegant. One game from resetting. And Ronald will be running back to Battlefield because this, it was a lot closer on Battlefield. Yeah. He did that cycle of those, and he had more room There's the the punish there. Talk about, oh, oh my, my god, god. man. <laughs> I saw this man's face, and I saw that. Because <laughs> he did not make a single reaction. I, I would have popped off if I got that one, dude. Because that's a lot of momentum for Razor starting off in game four. All this early. It took like no percent during the first stock, and now it's... It, oh! I did not. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That was that was a new one. I've never seen any. Oh, he's going. I, I want to see him go for another forward there because at that point, like Elegant was at a perfect, oh, at yeah, a decent. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Razo, man, he, I'm telling you, he's coming back. Like you said, uh, Battlefield seemed to be the stage that was the benefactor there the last time we met in the stage. Yeah. A lot harder space space on that forward there. Nice down tilt. Oh my oh, God, he waited. Way. He waited for the okay. opportunity to get the punish there, but he's Elegant makes the really trade. Awesome, yeah. He makes a trade in size there. Back throw. Okay. I'll okay. get watch the edge guard here. Reminisce of Smash 4 double jab into whatever. Yo, he was well, waiting for him to go. He wanted to come in there. That cyclone, that will kill. Okay, so, elegant. Down one stock. Or down two stocks. One stock? Yeah, one stock. Yeah. He can't bring this back. He can't. He can't. And Razo respects that because yeah. he knows the minute he gets a grab, he can definitely take a mile there. Oh, he grabbed the turnip yeah. and stopped the combo and he won kill for the other counter to reset. <laughs> Yo, man, he, he never thought that turnip was going to be a bit of a distraction at that final opportunity. Un unintentionally grabbing the turnip. That was a good, good job walling out, walling out Elgin. Oh, that, that's that it. That's it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. <laughs> yeah, man, Razzle's, whole, Razzle's, Razzle's got the family in the background, man. They're out there cheering for him. Shouts to Lauren in the chat, though. I know she's always oh, in yeah. there every time Elgin's playing. She is. And more than like every single time Elegant gets it, she is popping off cheering for her boy. Can you imagine like, real real quick, I'm sorry I'm in, into this tangent here. Can you actually imagine like Elegant wins like a, a major and she just does backflips, <laughs> like IRL backflips from, the, I, from like her desk? I wouldn't, I I wouldn't really? put it past Lauren to somehow <laughs> yeah. bust out into like a gymnastic. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, flips in a room yelling at <laughs> <her> lungs. <laughs> doing, like I'm like, gonna top, top AG6, man. She starts doing cartwheels the minute he like breaks into grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, if you're in the chat, I actually want to see you do backwards like when Elegant gets there. <laughs> All right, well, I want to see Razzle's. I want to see Razzle's family pop out for him because he's definitely out here in game five. This is the decider here. Will Elegant get the reset? Or will Razzle finally able to walk away from the winner's side here? 
the victory in his hands. We'll see how that starts going. Razzle starts immediately with a strong down tilt combo. Elegant striking back with the chops with those forward airs. You talk to grab, but I believe that was a dare. Yeah. Okay, different stage here. This is uh, definitely not going to be Battlefield. It's not going to be the last stage. They also played uh, new stage here, PS2. We all saw how the Cyclone killed Razzle here at the stage earlier as well. Yeah, Razzle's been getting so much off of those. The Daisy Bombers. Yeah. Oh, oh he, he caught the entirely. misfire. And the jump is gone. Razo definitely excited about that one there. Yeah, this is bad because the last time this happened, Elgin kind of got ran over after that. Mm -hmm. he, needs to get, he needs to get back to group and get his momentum. I like the fact that he's going for the down air on the shield and immediately landing with the neutral air just to throw out a hitbox to see if Elgin's going to go for an out of shield punish. Could be going for a nair, could be going for a forward air grab. But Razo definitely trying to keep a good space back air here. Another one uses the float there to inch in a little bit closer. Gets the grab. Razo definitely feeling himself up there. Gets the up tilt as well. Good space back air, but he wasn't able to get the punish. Oh, and Elgin just lands for the punish scaring there. Scaring Razo with the short hop faking it. Mm -hmm. Faking me maybe a tomahawk control. Razo tried to go for a spot dog. But Elgin finding that from a mile away going for the up beat. And this yeah, is that was death. definitely a mile away. No, that's not death. Yeah. Okay, Razo needs to tone things down here. Yeah, Elegant brought this back super hard. He's yeah. only down about like 9% at this point. Elegant pretty much having neutral more in his favor at the situation. That goes for the dash attack. Razo getting the better trade. Gets that forward to Elegant off stage. I like it. it. Tossing these turnips there. Two of them, but no, up there, man. Able to destroy both of them immediately. Good spacing away from the grabs. That's one thing Razo's doing a little bit more. Spacing himself away from the grabs so he doesn't get hit by the Cyclone. Even though we haven't been seeing these turnip setups for Razo at the ledge play out the way he wants to, it's still worth going because if he doesn't get those, that allows Elegant to come back on the stage. That will send him off, and the jump kills Elegant. That moves his hurt box to the blast zone. All right, so Razo up one stock, but this is not impossible. For yeah, not, not not impossible at all. Razo trying to stay a little bit more grounded, gets the spacing away from the plunger there. I like that he picks himself after the down air though, because he knew Elegant might try to go for another grab, and he was right on the call there. Oh, nice. Oh, man, that was so close. Elegant looking for these grabs. Down throw. To reach air into back air. Razo feeling himself almost gets that forward air. Elegant was so close to getting edge guard, uh, putting an edge guard position there. Razo, nice. He immediately uses the parasol. Oh, neutral. I, I, did, I, I don't like it. He had no reason to neutral get up. He saw Elegant charging, but maybe he yeah. or something. It, it might have been a missed input. He had no reason to neutral get up there for Razo. Unfortunate there. See, this is really scary because if he gets grabbed near the bottom of the platform, that might be his end of death. Yeah. But and he knows. He yeah. knows. Stay at the platforms, right? Use my flow here. There's no reason to go on to the thing. Now he's going to approach more. Probably out of the death percent. Yeah. Combos, combos. But still, this is still something that Elgin can easily bring back. If he gets to Down throw. Punish. Almost gets that side B there. And Elgant, good job. That is his daisy bombers. He's got to be thrown out. Yeah. And Raza want, wanted the chase there because he knew Elegant might have been trying to reset himself oh, on the ledge. Oh, this is where he gets scared because Cyclone oh. might kill, but Elegant off stage. This is where Raza oh, wants him. Oh, tries to go for the ledge jump. I yeah. definitely appreciate that for Raza, but it might have been a little bit too risky. Gets the roll, not enough right, distance. Oh, 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 the oh, oh no, Raza drops oh, that one! He directional air dodge. He was ex probably expecting to get hit and try to attack, but instead air dodge and S. Unfortunately, he had a, such a solid lead. He had the win. He had that. Yeah, that was literally victory well, right in his hands. For him, the SDs, and this is good for Elgin because he gets that grand finals reset. Has another breath of life coming towards him. That was looking very bad from the start. Died again to an early stop. And what, last time that happened, Razo just kind of rolled over after that. Yeah, that's also plus momentum for Elegant too because he knew like Razo kind of had him going there, and it's the air dodge that actually ended up killing yeah, Razo. Momentum, but we still know they were both not happy about that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter unless you really hate the person you're fighting as a character. Whenever your opponent SDs to win for you to win the set, it's never a good feeling. Yeah. It's like ah. especially in a close set like this. All right, well, Grand Finals reset here at Wednesday Night Fights. This is Razo's literally do or die tournament here. Doesn't want to get this. This is the problem that Razo has been having, right? Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. And Elegant, you know, obviously winning MSN here. He's looking for another tournament to win before G6. Yeah. He's showing that his, his, his fix on this mindset's working a lot. Oh, that was, that was I like the conversion, getting the sour stuff there and then running up F-Smash on it. Yeah. 
Dash tag. Right, barely gonna whiff. Elegant gonna run tag. Down that's throw. Good. I like the change. Yeah, and that's really cyclone. Yeah, the DI out, giving the cyclone, taking the first stop, but it's not too hard for Rosa. He has shown. He went deep for that forward air. He's shown both times that he can get the stock out, especially when he throws him off stage. Set he up again with the turn up. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Razo with the forward, air, forward throw, 0% still to his name. Oh, he's got stitch a... face. Oh. I, you know what? I respect him because he's still have to drop it. He wants the edge guard, right? That's what we've been seeing, right? He doesn't really care about the stitch face in that situation. He just wants the stock on. And if that means him tossing the turn turnips downward, just to get for that. Yeah, doesn't want to get caught pulling turnip and losing some punishes that he's got Yeah, die. exactly. All right, so Razo's shield shield. pressure. Yeah, look at Tiny. If he gets hit by one more good option, the shield might pop, and that would be a stock relevant. Yeah. Oh. Reel him in, dude. Reel him in for yeah. the punish. That was a slight up to lead you, but that range extension is also really nice because now he doesn't need to be directly in your face to get that grab. Yeah. People were saying, I was one of them too in the beginning when I saw the telegram, like, we're all like ripping each. Even Elegant himself wasn't feeling too happy about that. Yeah. But showing that, yeah, that's not that big of an issue for him. He still has his amazing combo game off his back. So far, though, Razo is being a big issue for him in the grand final set, too. Razo definitely doing a lot better there. Finally. <laughs> but it's also important to note that, like, he keeps, yeah, Elian does keep jumping around Razo in situations here, especially when he's got the pressure going on him. Razo kind of uh, scopes that out there, but it's also important to know that Elegant also pushes Razo when he immediately stops floating, just to line with too many hit aerials. Oh, that, that was an up yet. Yeah. That would have been an up punish for doing it. Super close to it, honestly. Okay, Razo using the float here, just trying to space himself around. Elegant gets it. I like that he went for the double jump there, because he saw Elegant go for a jump, looking for a punish there. Mix up yet again. Razo should be ready for that, yeah, but he's not going to. Yeah. This is reminiscent of the early Smash 4 days. A lot of Luigi got killed by Dr. Cyclone. Right now, it's working very well for Elegant. Oh, he's, he's got stitch face. face. That's really scary, but Elegant's like, I'm not even going to let you get a oh, chance. Oh, yeah. To use he, it. he got hit too much, so he dropped the item. Alright, so danger avoided for Elegant, but also really potential danger for Rob because Elegant has shown that he knows how to catch these turnips very well. Yeah. And if he had caught those turnips, Luigi himself would have done so much damage. Imagine what he could have done with the stitch face. Nice, down throw back air. Razo brought this out to the last stock here, but Elegant definitely looking to bring it back to the mental more on his side. Especially getting in the grand finals reset. Razo, I like it, use the float, space himself a little bit more towards the ledge there, just trying to avoid the grab. This is still very scary because this is death percent almost for both of them. Elegant just needs maybe like another good up here. Razo needs to come off stage one or two more times. These turnips are fair, but they work. Oh, Gimps. Oh, oh nice yo, that, that hit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. That, that's, oh, there it is. Yeah, and the stitch face. Stitch face. <laughs> you can see her in the background, man. She's just popping off, dude. I'll tell you, man. Razo brought the fam for the support. <laughs> no one, I didn't even see them. I saw a turn up and like, died in there. Yeah, like, yeah. When, when you got the critical hit, it zoomed in. Yeah, that explains a lot. We got that stitch face on deck. All right, well, let's go out to the next game here. Razo taking game one in the grand finals reset. We'll see what Alec can do. I mean, he honestly was doing a lot of things right to punish Razo, especially on the landings there, but Razo was always just a little bit in terms of one step ahead of him in terms of spacing, but Elegant opens up big time here with a beefy 86% in 10 seconds. Yeah, that's that's still nothing. He's done this before. Razo's always brought it back. Yeah. I meant, I meant Elegant speed runs percents like it was like AGDQ, man. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that what he did at GTX? He sped around the bracket? Oh. Yeah. He, yo, yeah. Not, not a last year's GTX. Oh, that was, that was a different, different story, yeah. Okay, okay. He's looking for that down air finish stop early, but Razo is just coming totally way out of range. Gets down scared. throw, back after. air. Oh, there. 86%, so like I said before, it doesn't matter. I'll get the kill with 30%, but Razo knows how to play. Oh, like, my God, okay. He's just recycling with that stretch, but that doesn't kill. That's another stitch face. Yeah. Razo with the walk. The gods of. Oh, no. I respect it. I, I, I respect it there because at that situation, he knows that Elegant wants to use the fireballs to possibly have Razo in shield and then go for a punish there. But unfortunately, there, Razo was holding. Uh, was holding the. Uh, I lost him. I'm so sorry. He was. Instead. 
and Elegance kind of should be used to that by now. But right now, Longrazo is showing that he has a lot of irons on his side right now. Point of Stitch faces the most important situations. Yeah, gets the grab, dash attack. Razo, oh my. Yeah, Elegant went for that one in the situation, but Razo was still um, a little bit too low to get grabbed. Especially because okay. of the level floor. So, evening these percents back up, bringing it back. Two, two stocks. The game one for Razo so far, Elegant looking to take you too. Yeah, grab, down throw to back air. I'm sorry, neutral air. Every time I see that, I keep thinking it's back if it's neutral air. It's the way that Fate Daisy's facing too. Alrighty. Okay, dash attack. All right, this is pretty crucial here for Razo that he needs to take the stock here first, but Elegant immediately comes out of the foot and the Daisy Ooh, Bomber to boot tech. there, but great tech from Elegant. They're not going to call with the roll again with the back. Oh, gets the parry, but doesn't He's got to be careful, we'll see. One thing that Razo has to understand, if I land a little bit too early with my floats there, Elegant will get this mix up here, and he's able to finally dodge the, the Cyclone. Ooh, Touches that F up smash with the bear. Yeah. So, like I said before, Elegant showing he knows how to catch the turn properly. And just kind of Rosalind hasn't been going for as many. Yeah. Finally gets that space back air. Elegant though, a little bit too aggressive there. One thing that Elegant, even though he's not getting the grabs, it's the looming threat that Razo has to understand. If I land after a float and Elegant gets me here with this grab, he can't get me with the cyclone kill. He can't get me with the down throw to back air. Okay, yeah, Razo gets down throw in air. Yeah. No, Razo was looking to take this man all the way to the right side of the stage, but Elegant told him no. And dude, that's that's Outside. the same that's the same thing that happened to Razo earlier in, in the winner's side of the bracket here, in winner's side of grand finals. Like he neutral get up when he had no reason to. Razo could have took the time to just flow away, find another angle to come back on stage. Yeah, you can. Yeah, exactly. Space up forward here, possibly. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you guys are hearing. Sorry about that, guys. You guys can Razo. hear uh, Tekken in the background there, but we'll see what Razo can do here. Hopefully, in the background of his family will pop off for him as he's moving on closer to Elegant. He's got 0% of his name, but he knows if I mess up here, Elegant can turn things around and momentum will swing into his favor yet again. Look at the spacing that Elegant's doing. Right? He's walking away. He's letting Razo chase him so he can get him on the landing. He wants to get those grabs. Yeah, he does. Combo started, so. We'll concede the zero to death complex to just get these raw percentages to reuse. Like, Razo's throwing all these unsafe moves. Maybe you can punish him. Like, just give him too much. Fourth throw. Okay, gets a turn up Ooh. and immediately said, hold this turn up. Hold the L. Give me game t Give me game two. Let's give it out to game three. The tie turner. That's what it is. Game three right here for Razo. The tie turner. Will Ellen get a reverse 3-0? A reverse 3-0. Because I feel like that could be in the cards for Elegant. Or will Razo finally get a 30 and a handshake here? Finally get a first place. It's so it, it's literally in his he hands, really man. Not He's, he hasn't got a first place at WNF or Amazon. Dang. Usually I'm him, dude. Yeah. Three, I hit taking these away from Razzle. Oh man, I, I'm hip, I'm hip, sorry, man. That man deserves his victories, dude. I, I don't like Omar, but I'll admit, like I'm hip. <laughs> He's, the IE, the IE invasion is definitely here in SoCal for sure. All right, so game three, elegant, not a. Oh, oh that dead. turn up style. Oh my oh, god. That's not good. And Rosso only took 3%. Still, Elegant can't bring his back. He's shown like he did before. He just needs to get his momentum back. Oh, Elegant almost gets the grab. That would have been super big, too. It would have been percent if Elegant finds the grab here. Here's percent, but Rosso able to air dodge away. And Elegant with a great tech chase from that stack. All right, so this is Elegant knows he needs to get the stock out now before he falls behind against so it. Exactly. Ran off run with that dare, trying to see if he can see what's stock out. Oh, full oh. cancel. Yep, there. There's the ball. Down the next match again. Good trade in terms of Razo. Razo gets back on stage. Oh, oh don't do that. He was expecting maybe Elgin to start throwing up fireballs again, but exactly. he does that he lost such an early lead, but Razo's not too faced by that. Still got a 40% lead. Mm -hmm. Turning into Yeah, he, he, he's turning it up here. Yeah, Elgin catches the turn up there with the up air. Oh, oh use it against him here. Spot dodge yet again. Razo needs to be careful with those directional air dodges. Elegant has been on him with the tech chase. That's still air enough to even the air dodge in a direction. Elegant is still I do like that Elegant's holding his cars closer to his chest now. He's not always going for the follow up fireball follow ups. Oh, and oh, he gets a snipe, and that's going to be oh, it. And the misfire! Oh. <laughs> Blast by the RNG gods, man. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Axel yeah. so close. But Elegant, he, you know what it is, man. Ele oh, gets the up B and no punish there. Razzle's going to go down to town all across the stage. Yes, he does. 55%. Oh, Good, great tight chase. I like that. I like that because he knew Razzle was much more scared of getting hit by the upbeat. This is, I'm telling you, man, it's Ty Turner. Gets away from the grab. We saw we saw this last game, man. Razzle had a lot of victory, but Elegant just turns around with a couple of those upbees. I like it. Taking his time to come back to line on stage. Elegant looking for the punish here. This is good for Elegant now, because now Rosal's probably scared of these upbeats. He yes, he twice. is. So the chance of him coming back again is something that Rosal does not want to happen because he's so close to taking this W, but Elegant's just not ready Elegant to Elegant with it. the spacing there, and he gets the up smash punish. He's inching ever closer on percent. Good dash attack off the stage here. Rosal looking for a possible uh, edge guard here. What can he find? This is very scary for Elegant. And he gets the counter punish! <laughs> oh my god! W and F. After the grand final, you said after the unfortunate SDA. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I tell you, I'm so sorry. I'm just laughing at the fact, like, yo, man, he's got a family. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got the fam, dude. Yeah, they're happy for him because they know he's been looking for this. For this